Chris Bosh was asked by reporters if he had talked to his former teammate since LeBron James' decision to leave. And Bosh answered with a pretty straightforward no. He also made it clear that he doesn't necessarily have plans to, I'm in the mode where I'm trying to lead my team, help these guys out around here. If guys aren't in this locker room, I don't have much time for them, if any. So, what do we make of what Chris Bosh said? It's hard for me to make much of it, to be quite honest with you, other than the fact that he's locked in, he's zeroed in, and he can't afford to think about the past because when you had an $88 million deal on the table from the Houston Rockets, which you are worthy of, and then you turn around and Pat Riley and the Miami Heat elect to give you 118 million. You know what I'm going to say, Skip. Yeah. Henry Thomas, the agent for CAA, representing Chris Bosh. Chris Bosh needs to go to th cook him <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner. He needs to go Christmas shopping for him. His wife and his family, the family of Henry Thomas, Chris Bosh needs to carry their bags. He, he needs to show for them all over the place. I mean, $30 million. That's what Henry Thomas got him extra for him. Makes no sense whatsoever. But I will say this. When you get that kind of money, you are clearly the number one option. It is yeah. clearly and officially your team yep. in Miami if you are Chris Bosh, and that's the way it goes. So I don't knock him for having that mentality. Now, Skip, you know I was at Dwayne Wade's you, wedding. You I'm telling you right now, I, I, I listen, LeBron James, Chris Bosh, seem to be getting along quite fine in mind. That's fine. I don't, rec I don't recall Chris Bosh not talking to him. I mean, you know, seeming incredibly friendly and all of that other stuff. I'm just going to take it to believe that Chris Bosh is locked in and that he's focused. Sure. He didn't mean anything negative towards denigrating LeBron or anything nope. like that. You know, D-Wade, LeBron, they all got love for one another. It's just competition. And Chris Bosh knows, more so than anybody, you get paid $118 million, $118 million, mm -hmm that Chris Bosch just received, you are the face of the Miami Heat, yep. soon to be anyway. But right. you are clearly the number one option. And so the Chris Bosch that we saw stepping back, being fine with being the third offensive option, that is no longer the case. He understands the pressure that is on him right now to step up and handle his business. And I believe that he will, at least mm -hmm. to some degree. And I think that's what he was pointing to more than anything else. But I don't want to hear that he didn't talk to LeBron James. Okay. I, I know what you're saying. I think he meant that we're not continue to text each other. I'm not going to call him. Right, they're not teammates. Okay? They're not teammates. Right. Thank you very much. Right. I, I did not want to hear Chris Bosh making $118 million say, I love and miss LeBron James. I don't want to hear it anymore because he, I'm sure he has love left for LeBron. I'm sure they will be friends, if not friendly going forward. Always. Okay. But because they're basketball brothers that's and right. they won together. Okay. That's fine. But that changed. And, and I got to tell you, if, if I played for the Heat, I would still take it somewhat personally that LeBron basically said to my team, I can't win with you guys anymore. Is that not fair? Isn't that what he said? I can't win with I know he wanted to go home. But he also, by design in the big picture, I think he knew he had a shot at playing with Kevin Love and obviously with Kyrie. Am well, I right? Well, again, I think that your feelings have far more substance if... LeBron had left for anywhere but Cleveland. Okay, but that, that's where he gets a pass, which well, is fine, and he deserves Cleveland. it. But okay. I will say this to you. Fear not. No need to worry about what you desire and what you want. Because the Miami Heat have an individual by the name of Pat Riley. Oh, I thought you were going to say Dwayne Wade. No, no, Pat Riley. Mm -hmm. And I say Pat Riley for this one reason and this one reason only. Pat Riley is not going to allow anybody to think differently. And it's not personal. He is just a big-time competitor. And this notion that the Miami Heat are going to fall off the map because LeBron is gone is something Pat Riley takes offense mm -hmm. at, which means that any player that okay. he has on his squad who does not adopt that same mentality is going to have a problem with Pat Riley. And, oh, by the way, Mickey Harrison thinks like that as well. I agree, which is why I believe, more than you believe, that the Miami Heat are going to have a big say in who wins the Eastern Conference. My issue yeah. with the Miami Heat is one thing and one thing only. And, and I've said this to everybody associated with that guy, including the young, great coach that is Eric Spolstra, who I love. I am telling you, I don't give a damn who they brought to their squad. If Dwayne Wade ain't healthy, okay. it ain't going to matter. I but if Dwayne will Wade, be. But if Dwayne Wade is healthy, oh, we, we, we got a three-team race in the East between Chicago, Cleveland, and Miami. Okay. Because the, the way way, and I, I just can't fathom that he's going to be healthy. I just can't fathom that he's going to be ready to go. I don't believe it. He knows I don't believe it. Mm. But I believe in his skill. I believe in his heart. I believe in, 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 in his competitive fervor. And if Dwayne Wade is healthy, oh, look out.
it's a, it's, a, it's a whole different conversation. We a have whole different conversation. We have a three-team race in the East. Thank you very well, much. Well, you know, you ain't no, you're not an orthopedic surgeon. How do I, you know? You, you, <laughs> I have you, my sources. I, I, I mean, what is it's it? What is this? Skip von Bayless mm -hmm. or something? You German yeah. now? You want them German doctors yeah. that set up there and did yeah. the blood fuse or whatever? I did How do you know? I How know. do you know? That's all I'm trying to I say. I, I, mean, I, mean, listen, I listen, have my listen, sources. Listen, listen, you have don't give me your sources. You're always giving me sources. I'm not a doctor. I don't know. The doctor, the doctor, the doctor's gonna tell you his knee's gonna be fine. Can't do that. All right, guys. All right, guys. We'll leave Come it on. at that. All right. Coming up. Just Bra remember, I said this. Bra if he's healthy.